Stop and consider just how quickly Democrats are turning Colorado into a progressive state right now. Now, some of you love this, some of you hate it. Either way, it's just a fact. With full control of state government, the Democrats' red flag gun control bill is halfway to the finish line. Their sweeping oil and gas regulations seem pretty certain to pass. And now Democrats are asking for a portion of your paycheck, everyone's paycheck, in order to fund statewide paid family leave. Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger. We gave a quick primer on paid family leave last night on Next. Paid time off for the birth of a child or caring for a seriously ill family member. You'd be eligible for no more than 1000 bucks a week, but someone making minimum wage would expect less than $400 a week. Employers and employees would split the cost, a percentage of your salary. So for those making 50000 bucks, you'd pay $160 a year, and so would your employer. Since you're paying more on your income, sounds like a tax, right? Fees are designed to be a benefit to those that pay into the system. That's right. In Colorado, we call some of these ideas fees. And the Colorado Supreme Court seems to be okay with it. Last May, in a two-to-one decision, the state Supreme Court determined that Aspen charging a 20-cent fee on paper bags is not a tax. A charge is not a tax if the primary purpose of a charge is to defray the reasonable direct and indirect costs of providing a service or regulating an activity because such a charge does not raise revenue for the general expense of government. It doesn't go to the General Assembly for us to pick apart and use on our pet projects. This can only be used for the benefit of the people paying the fee. A semantic argument is never as important as how it functions and ultimately it's going to function like a tax. As you would expect, Republicans are against what they consider a tax disguised as a fee. Well, you could always opt out and uh, take advantage of a different fee that's via un unemployment. Senate Republicans listed more concerns in a 16 tweet thread like pointing out people here illegally will be eligible. Though Senate sponsor Faith Winter tells me employers are supposed to check a person's status before hiring them. This program would benefit anyone already on a payroll. You know, we talked earlier in the week about fast tracking legislation and I asked Senator Winter about that. She tells me eight different meetings covering 12 hours since December, Kyle, and apparently this was supposed to be introduced last month. Mm -hmm. They delayed it to have some more of these stakeholder meetings with businesses that probably aren't going to be too happy in the end anyways. They're asked for more money. When we talk about how much this is going to cost people and we give them the numbers, those are just the numbers for what? The first two years of the program, right? Then it can start to fluctuate. Yeah, because the bill says the fund that, that everybody can tap into mm -hmm. has to be at a certain level based on the year before. So if they need more money, that percentage could go up that you're asked to get out of your paycheck. Yeah. If that fund is well established and no one's tapping into it, maybe it comes down. So and, and other states have done this, and they've uh -huh. figured out this window where eh, we're probably in the right spot where it's not going to fluctuate. They think they've, they've nailed the, the tax rate. The fee rate. The fee rate. i gotta, <laughs> I got to get this right. i got to get the, the fee rate. Don't, don't call it a tax. All right. Thank you, Marshall.